Welcome back, everyone, to another Magic the Gathering Market Movers, and today is May 3rd, 2024. And before we jump to things here, as per usual, I want to go over the affiliate links in my description. I do have a Dragon Shield discount code as well as a TCG Player affiliate link. Any purchase that you make using those links, I get a small bonus from it, and it really helps support the channel. Now, here are my lovely Patreon supporters. You guys are the reason why I can make content like this on a daily basis, so thank you all very much. With that being said, let's get moving. Starting our losers list off here today with Force of Vigor from Modern Horizons. This rare is down 9.63% from $12.56 to $11.35 for its market price, and its average price is $16. Necromancy from Visions. This card is down 9.83% from $12.61 to $11.37 for its market price, and its average price is $12.98. Illustrious Wanderglyph from Commander the Lost Caverns of Ixalan. This rare is down 12.41% from $13.05 to $11.43 for its market price, and its average price is $11.75. Next up is Arcane Signet 1641 from the Secret Layer series, down 13.33% from $25.73 to $22.30 for its market price, and its average price is $23.70. Esoteric Duplicator, and this is the showcase copy from Outlaws of Thunder Junction The Big Score. This card is down 14.87% from $12.71 to $10.82 for its market price, and its average price is $14.97. Sphere of Resistance from the Fallout Secret Layer series set down 16.65% from $9.85 to $8.21 for its market price, and its average price is $11.26. Delina Wild Mage from Adventures in the Forgotten Realms. This rare is down 16.75% from $8.36 to $6.96 for its market price, and its average price is $9. Corridor Ghost Chieftain from the Secret Layer series down 16.81% from $16.12 to $13.41 for its market price, and its average price is $13.50. Will Help the Rock Cleaver from Commander Innistrad Midnight Hunt. This mythic is down 19.55% from $5.32 to $4.28 for its market price, and its average price is $5.45. Trinisphere from the Secret Layer series Fallout set down 20.69% from $6.96 to $5.52 for its market price, and its average price is $10. Steel Shaper's Gift from the Secret Layer series down 24.63% from $9.34 to $7.04 for its market price, and its average price is $8.34. Alea Artful Provocateur 1630 from the Secret Layer series down 28.92% from $9 to $6.39 for its market price, and its average price is $7.50. Bojuka Bog, another Secret Layer series Fallout card down 29.63% from $6.75 to $4.75 for its market price, and its average price is $10. Reliquary Tower 1536 from the Secret Layer series down 32.85% from $6.94 to $4.66 for its market price, and its average price is $8. Reflecting Pool, another Secret Layer series Fallout card down 33.85% from $10.28 to $6.80 for its market price, and its average price is $10.56. And our final loser on our list today is another Secret Layer series card, Dockside Chef, and this card is down 44.17% from $12.95 to $7.23 for its market price, and its average price is $7.25. And now we're going to be taking a look at the biggest winners of the day, and we are going to start that list off here with... Ancient Silver Dragon from Commander Legends Battle for Boulder's Gate. This mythic is up 7.67% from $18.64 to $20.07 for its market price, and its average price is $20.12. And the pre-release copy is sitting at $23.96 for its market price, and its average price is $34.87. And the showcase copy is sitting at $19.34 for its market price, and its average price is $21.16. 
and the borderless copy sitting at $33.14 for its market price, and its average price is $35.88. This card is seeing a ton of commander play in commanders like Marvo, Deep Operative, Felix Five Boots, and also the Ur Dragon. And the next winner on our list today is Scapeshift from Corset 2019. This copy is up 7.40% from $20.41 to $21.92 for its market price, and its average price is $21.47. And the pre-release copy is sitting at $20 for its market price, and its average price is $24.53. And the original copy from Morning Tide is sitting at $18.22 for its market price, and its average price is $21.98. And the Borderless Special Guest copy sitting at $18.16 for its market price, and its average price is $20. This card is seeing some modern play in decks like Naya Escape Shift, Gruel Escape Shift, as well as 4 to 5 color Omnath. However, also sees a lot of commander play in decks like Yuma Proud Protector and Omnath Locus Love Creation. And the next winner on our list today is Extravagant Replication from Commander Streets of New Capenna. This rare enchantment is up 7.63% from $27.91 to $30.04 for its market price, and its average price is $32.71. The promo pack copy is sitting at $47.50 for its average price, the extended art copy is sitting at $18.51 for its market price, and its average price is $27.72. And you can find this card in the Commander Precon from Streets of New Capenna, Maestro's Massacre. And this card is being played as well in other new commanders like Ariat the Beguiler and Obeka Splitter of Seconds. Next up is Court of Cunning from Commander Legends. This rare enchantment is up 16.24% from $7.88 to $9.16 for its market price, and its average price is $8.53. And the extended art copy is sitting at $10.59 for its market price, and its average price is $10.75. You can find this card in some commanders like the Wise Mothman, Captain Nagathrod, as well as Obeka Splitter of Seconds. Next up on our winner's list is Pest Control from Outlaws of Thunder Junction, The Big Score. This mythic sorcery is up 23.34% from $8.14 to $10.04 for its market price, and its average price is $9.70. And the showcase copy is sitting at $16.98 for its market price, and its average price is $20. In the extended art copy is sitting at $11.09 for its market price, and its average price is $14.62. And you can find this card in the standard format in decks like Esper Midrange, Orzhov Midrange, and it's even being played in the modern format Esper Control decks and the legacy format in Reanimator. Next up on our winners list is Urza's Workshop, and this is the extended art copy from Commander the Brothers War. It's up 31.59% from $7.66 to $10.08 for its market price, and its average price is $16.82. And the regular copy is sitting at $10.75 for its market price, and its average price is $11.17. And this card is seeing a ton of legacy play right now, Mystic Forge combo decks. However, it sees most of its play in the commander format in commanders like Urza Chief Artificer, Urza Lord High Artificer, as well as Kozilek the Great Distortion and Zuladok Void Gorger decks. Next up on the winner's list is Rogue Class from Adventures in the Forgotten Realms. This rare is at 40.83% from $4.09 to $5.76 for its market price, and its average price is $4.09. And the pre-release copy is sitting at $2.37 for its market price, and its average price is $2.95. And the promo pack copy is sitting at $2.78 for its market price, and its average price is $3.10. And the AFR ampersand promo copy is sitting at $18.31 for its market price, and its average price is $55.43. And you can find this card in some new commanders like Felix Five Boots, as well as Gaunti Canny Inquisitor. And our final winner on our list today is an uncommon card from Wilds Veldrain. It's Monstrous Rage, and it's at 47.39% from $2.30 to $3.39 for its market price, and its average price is $2.90. This card is seeing a ton of Pioneer play right now in decks like Mono Red Aggro, Gruel Aggro, and even Boros Heroic decks. However, also see some standard play in Mono Red Aggro, as well as Gruel Aggro and Boros Aggro in the standard format. And now we're going to be taking a look at the biggest foil winners of the day, and we are going to start that list off here with... Power Fist from Universes Beyond Fallout. This foil is up 21.24% from $9.51 to $11.53 for its foil market price, 
and its average price is $13.95. Satoru, the infiltrator from Outlaws of Thunder Junction. This foil is up 27.55% from $4.61 to $5.88 for its foil market price, and its average price is $7.91. Dramatic entrance from Shadow Moor. This foil is up 28.78% from $11.64 to $15 for its foil market price, and its average price is $17.05. Grinning Demon from Onslaught. This old frame foil is up 29.30% from $18.09 to $23.39 for its foil market price, and its average price is $18.89. Three steps ahead from Outlaws of Thunder Junction. This foil is up 45.65% from $5.17 to $7.53 for its foil market price, and its average price is $8.22. Ball Lightning from Magic 2010, this foil is at 52.76% from $2.90 to $4.43 for its foil market price, and its average price is $2.87. And our final foil winner of the day is Vine Trellis from 8th edition. This foil is up 65.66% from $12.23 to $20.26 for its foil market price, and its average price is $14. Thank you all so much for taking time out of your day to watch my Magic the Gathering market movers. It really, really means a lot to me. If you guys could, could you hit that like button down below so this video does get shared into YouTube's algorithm so that way my channel can continue to grow on YouTube. Also, let me know in the comment section below what your favorite mover of the day was, which cards are the most surprised to see on the list, and which cards do you actually own that showed up on the list today. I do read every single comment that you guys leave, so please leave them there down below for me to read. Also, I make these videos from Monday to Friday, so I will be back on Monday for my regular Market Mover series. However, I'll also be back tomorrow for the week's winner's edition, so stay tuned for that. Anyways, guys, have a fantastic rest of your day and an even better weekend. Take care. Being a patron will help me produce more market movers and add to the funds that I will use for my random buys and also to my coffee fund because I drink a lot of coffee for these videos. And here you can see a link below in the description that will give you all the tiers and what you get in each tier. So I hope you guys click and think about joining. And with that, I'll see you next video. Think about uh, supporting the channel in that way. If not, subscribe, like, leave a comment, and I will see you again in the next video.